A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned. Enter one of the laboratories where decades ago, House Caneth first imbued mystical light. The doorway ahead has been boarded up. Oddly, the world looks very recent. A magical barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your soul. You hope you can find a way. of some alchemical compound coat these humming canids. Upon turning the valve, you hear a definite alteration in the pitch of the hiss as the gas struggles to... Without the alchemical jets cooling painted power crystals, you can now easily destroy them. As the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. Who in the flame are you? Oh no, the Sawagan found me! Suddenly the air shimmers with devourer magic. The Sahagin have followed you in and are attacking. <laughs> they wouldn't have sent so few after me. Stay alert! Than that to put me down, Sahagin! Sahagin are still blocking our escape. Watch for more attacks! Sahagin scum! Keep coming! I won't die that easily! Once the Swahagan get your scent, they won't stop until you're dead. 
We might actually get through this. Just hold for a little longer. The Swahagan Madri after surviving this latest attack. Perhaps you should talk to him again. Go now. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet Amalgam. Your finding Hayton transformed the village. It seems as if all of Corthos were holding out for news of your next great victory with bated breath. This entry. Don't look capable of withstanding blows from your weapon, though. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate Korthos villagers.
You have breached the Devourer's Sanctum. From ahead, you hear a woman's plaintive cry for help. A bone-chilling breeze emanates from the mouth of Misery's Peak. You're here! Come! There isn't much time! I am heartened to see you still combating evil. But do be careful. I won't be able to Selimus, protect you this time. ready your party. I'll weaken the barrier for you. Ready! Charge! Good. Now to clear your path. Hayden clears the passageway for you. Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Several humanoid figures surround a glowing place. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted poses, their faces set in silent eternal screams. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Second signal crystal activated. You hear the stone door at the base of the cavern rolling open. Chills run down your spine as you finally come face to face with the dragon that has been terrorizing Korthos. Even at rest, it is a truly awesome beast. The door at the rear of the cavern pops open. Cultists attracted by the roar of combat rush out to confront you.
The ground quavers, and you look down to see a tunnel beneath the ice. The dragon roars as it thunders after Selimas and Jeets and Taldron. The ruse is working. Another heavy door bars the way out. Once again, signal crystals are set into the wall. glows with power as you engage the first control lever. But where is the second? You feel fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below. Waves of psychic energy pound into you as you spot a green crystal on the ledge ahead. At last, this must be the quarry mine sunder. The mind flayer and dragon are locked in a contest of wills. This could be your chance to destroy the Mind Sunder. The Mind Flayer shrieks as it loses the Mind Sunder's power. The dragon reasserts its will and looks very annoyed. Follow me, 
Peyton wants a word with you. Well struck. Well struck. I wish we'd dispatched the dragon, but such a savior of Corthos. They cheer as you return. But destiny has greater plans for you than just this small village.